Hey guys, Boneyard here. So I got the heat on in the shop. It's October 15th, 2023. It's a little chilly out. It's uh, windy, damp, chilly out. It rained all day yesterday. The sun is finally trying to peek out. So it was a little chilly when I got in here. And I also washed uh the rug I washed the uh rug carpet cut because i'm going to get ready to go to the long island antique power association show i think it's the first weekend in november and my tractors a lot of them haven't been started since last fall of that show uh, i haven't had time to do anything with them uh, just been sitting around. I actually sold the Country Squire. Uh, that was a nice track. I got it off an elderly gentleman, uh, local guy. He gave it to me and I redid it. There's a video on that. I throw that in the description. Um, his grandson came to me and told me if I ever wanted to sell it to let him know. So I, uh, you know, I said, you know what? These things are just sitting around. Uh, his grandson wants it for his son, which would be a great grandson. So I told him I made him a really good deal. Uh, the elderly guy gave it to me, but I did a ton of work, which you will see in the video if you uh, click on it. So I figured out what I had into it and I sold him for what I, what I had into it far, far as uh, parts and paint and stuff like that, not my labor. So he was very excited. And, uh, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy he went back to the family and uh, his great-grandson can enjoy it as well as, as his grandson. And uh, maybe they'll keep it nice and it will pass on down to other uh, grandkids or great-grandkids or whatever. But I felt I did a pretty good thing and it was just sitting around. I haven't been using it. So, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what we did with the Country Squire. But I still got all my other ones uh, and a couple more that I haven't even worked on yet. But I went to go start this up back to the rug and uh, I had no spark. It wouldn't start. So probably got to clean the points. I'm going to put a new filter in it, new fuel filter, new spark plugs and check it and just go over the whole thing. Uh, last time I cut the grass with it, and that was a while ago, probably two years ago. Uh, I lost a, a nut on the bottom of this deck. You can see it moving there. So I'm going to get that get that back on there. I'm going to sharpen the blade. And uh, yeah, let's get it back in shape. Get it running again and get it ready for the show coming up. Cleaned up pretty nice. I, you know, I just wiped it down and didn't put no wax or nothing on it yet. I kept, I keep it in one of those portable garages, which you've probably seen, but I actually cover it in there. So, uh, so they stay pretty nice. And I do got a chip on the seat that I just noticed that, I don't know, must have hit it with something. So we're gonna touch that up and uh, just get it ready. So stay tuned. I'm gonna get the spark plug out and just make sure that we have no spark and then we're gonna to have to get this uh, cover off and get into those points. I'll bring it back when I uh, start digging into it. Okay, so I took the spark plug out. There it is. Doesn't look awful, but it is running a little rich, looks like. And I put my spark tester on it right there. And as you can see, we have nothing. We'll get this cover off and flywheel and we'll get into the points. I really don't have any place to set you guys up. Uh, let's see if I can get the camera set up. Hold on one minute. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see. Hopefully I don't block too much. So I'm going to take these two screws out of the air filter. Take that off. This thing used to start right up too. I've never had any problem with it. I'm not sure if I put a new set of points in when I did it or not. I felt a little dirty. You can see I use it. You know, it just don't sit around. 
So now I'm going to take the 716th. We're going to take out the uh, bolts to hold the shroud on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have been checking out. I put a couple videos out there. I had part two of my mini bike build out there. I uh, back lapped the lock in the other day. Did a little video on that. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get some more videos out. I got my first check from YouTube, so that's kind of nice. It's not a lot, but you know what? I would do it anyway if, uh, if I got a check or not. So it is what it is. I'll just take the money, put it back in my channel. Maybe I'll go buy a new camera or something. I know I need a tripod, so uh, that's what we'll do. Tighten that one up. Hopefully I don't have to mess with this hood to get the shroud off. I don't really want to take the hood off. I think I'm going to go from the other side because of the throttle cable. And if you haven't seen this video build on YouTube, I'll throw the video in the description also. Couple videos on this where I found it. I found it at the dump. It was getting ready to get pushed up from a bucket loader, and I kind of stopped the guy and uh, see if he wanted to. Uh, no, a guy that worked there got it, and I went and talked to him and got it from him. It was getting ready though to get pushed up from a bucket loader. Well, we saved it. We saved it from the junkyard, the scrap yard, being destroyed. So, all right, I'm going to get this flywheel off now. I'm just looking how I'm going to do it. Uh, get it off. And there was mice in here, and they chewed the wires up on the coil. I kind of fixed them, so I'm hoping that the coil's not shot. So, we'll see. I'm going to get the tools out to get the uh, flywheel off, and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so I took the screen off the clutch, and I put the two screws back in it just to hold that cover on. There. I have my flywheel holder on the flywheel already, and I got my clutch tool right here. Uh, I got two of these. There's two different sizes, so this is the one I need for this one. And let's see if we can get this clutch off without too much problems. All right. that up and it spins nice so the shaft's nice and clean we we'll take that off we we'll take the washer off washer was painted on a little bit so now we got to get something on here and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get my my knockoff tool on there with the hood so maybe I'll just get a bar under it and I'll give the flywheel a smack on the side. Sometimes it comes off that way. So hopefully it don't come off too hard. I got a screwdriver. I can get it with a brass hammer. I like to use a brass hammer on this stuff. I can't really get a swing anywhere. I'm going to go on the other side.
about that, guys. I knocked you over. We'll leave that in there. I guess I must have shook the, uh, the lift a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to get this flywheel off. I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to do a lot of banging. Uh, try not to, to uh, take this hood off. So I'll bring you back when I get the flywheel off. Okay, so I got the flywheel off. It was a little bit of a pain in the neck, and I did what I wasn't supposed. I did what I didn't want to do: is break a fin. Hammer. I guess I hit it with a hammer a little too high and broke the fin. It kind of, kind of ticked me off, but I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. So anyway, that's that. It was on there pretty hard. I don't know why. Yeah. So then I took the points cover off, and the points, they, they look like I must have uh, put new ones in when I did it. I took the condenser out because uh, one of the wires, the kill wire, uh, broke off. So I had to fix that. So now we're going we're gonna to put the condenser back in. And uh, just wanted to show you guys this tool that my dad had. So here's a condenser, put the spring on top, and they usually come with a little white cap that you push the spring down to slide the wire in. But my father has this condenser tool, Princess Stratton condenser tool. So you put the condenser in there and you put it the top of the condenser, come on, focus, in there, and then you can squeeze it down. And then you can put your wire in. Pretty neat. So let's uh, get the wire in there where it goes. These two, one goes to your coil, and I can't see a thing, and one goes to your kill. Get both of those in there, like so. And then I just like to fold them down, whatever's sticking out, you fold them down. And then we can slide the condenser back up where she goes. And I'll put the little hole down on, and then we will get a feel of gauge. And we will gap it at 20 thousandths. The points are closed right now. I did that before I took the condenser out. So the points are at closed position so let me get my field gauge and this was also my dad's he took it and he put a little bend in it at the 20 thousandths so he can get in there without straight up and down sometimes it's easier so he has one that he that he bent like this and he also has just a regular straight one but this one's nice because you can get it like this. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. So let's bring this here. We'll hold that there. And then I will snug that up my fingers. Perfect. It's got a very little drag on it. So that's how I like it. We will snug that down and check it again to make sure it didn't move on us. Nope. Perfect. Okay. So before I put the cover on, I'm just going to throw the flywheel on, see if I can spin it. This is the best spot. On the other side. I probably should switch it over electronic. But I don't like to. I like to try to keep it the way it was. If I was using it all the time, 
I wouldn't have a problem with it. Spin it. Make sure I get good ground. Good ground here. Oh, still don't look like any spark. Let me uh, let me see if I can get something better set up here. I'll be back. Okay, so we got spark. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I had a brain fart, I guess. I closed the points and then adjusted them. The points got to be open and then you adjust them. So, had a brain fart, readjusted them, got spark. Going to throw this all back together and uh, we'll see if it starts up. I'm not going to video it all going back together. You guys know how it goes back together. So, let me get it back together, and uh, then we'll see if uh, she's going to go. Hopefully, I don't have to get into the carburetor. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, so we got it all back together. So uh, let's see if it's going to start. I just want to check the oil quick. I know I have gas in it. I'm pretty sure I got oil in it, too, but I'll just check. Oh, it's, it's a little low, actually. There's enough to start it, though. I'll top it off when I go over the whole thing. So Let me get you guys set up. Uh, let's see if we a good spot for you guys. Uh, we'll set you... Uh, maybe over here. So I'm not in your way when I'm, when I'm pulling on the pull cord. Ah, we'll set you there for a minute. Let me see if it's going to do the start. So, uh, I'm going to hit choke. back on I'll clean that go over the whole thing clean it up again put a coat of wax and she'll be ready for the fall show so that was it just had to clean those points up a little bit that's from not starting it up I'm pretty good at starting them through the winter and stuff but uh, and the summer, I, I usually use them in the summertime. I cut my backyard with this a couple times, but I didn't this year. 
uh, just been super busy, he didn't get them out. So uh, I gotta make sure I get back on that and run them. If I would have ran it a couple times, it, it would have been fine. So anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you liked the video or not, or something I could have done different, or whatever. Say hi, thumbs up, whatever. Just uh, leave me a comment. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Going to try to get some more videos out now that, uh, you know, it's in the fall. My business is slowing up a little bit. Uh, we're going to get some uh, mowers in that they're going to want. The commercial guys are going to want service for the winter. So that's going to be coming up. But uh, I want to get some more of these videos out. Uh, I got a couple old engines. I want to see if I can get running. I'll do a video on one of those. Uh, I'm going to try to get one of those to the show. Or maybe both of them. Or a few of them. Uh, so look out for that video. Alright. That's it for the uh, rug copy cut. If you like the video, like I said, hit that thumbs up. Smash that like. You know, subscribe. Everything. Do everything. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Be safe and boneyards out.